It's been about two and a half years since we bought our CNC machine, the long mill from CNC Labs. So we just thought uh, I'd show you some footage of uh, how it came, how we put it together, the table build, and some of the projects that we've done over the last couple of years. Now, all these projects are pretty much repetitive, so we don't have much footage to show you or much images because they were, we were using it mainly for a certain type of product. So you want to make sure you stay till the end of the video, whether we give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. So let's get to it. Now, as you probably noticed at the beginning of the video, that whole machine actually does come in that one cardboard box. But you do have to set up the table that you're going to be setting, building it onto. And they do recommend this torsion box that I'm building here using a one sheet of plywood, three quarter inch plywood, a uh, four by eight sheet of plywood. So it is relatively easy to build, as you see, as long as you can cut it into strips. And then I used a pocket hole to connect it to the uh, top of the table and it really didn't take all that much time to, to build and it was made a really strong structure for the CNC to be mounted on. And here I'm just adding some two by fours as the beginning for the uh, structure to hold up the frame. I will be adding some other things here, such as this old island that we had from our kitchen. I decided to use it under the CNC table and can use it to put our bits in and other supplies required for the CNC machine. And that will also be part of the structure of this uh, new bench that we're making. I will be adding some other structural lateral supports because right now it definitely would be jiggling around with just two by fours holding it, but I will put in some other two by fours to give it that strength uh, all the way around and keep it from jiggling and shaking as the CNC machine runs. It probably would have been easier if I just flipped this whole table over and put the rest of the two by fours on instead of crawling underneath, but it really didn't take that much time. So here we are with the boxes, as I mentioned, or the box, and within the box there were many boxes. And this made the whole process of putting the CNC machine together so much easier. Following the instructions on their website, on the CNC Labs website, step by step, they were really clear. And we just took our time to make sure that we read all the instructions. Because we know that if we try and skip and hurry along that we might forget something and you'll end up with extra parts that you wonder why they're <laughs> why you have extra parts when you shouldn't have too many if any extra parts when you're putting these things together so yeah so we just took our time we probably did like an hour at one point and then we had supper came back for maybe another hour or so and then i finished it up the following day so it really didn't take all that long following the instructions really closely. I'm going to step back from the microphone for a little while. We'll just watch uh, as we put this together and then I'll come back as we start getting it to run. So we got the majority of the machine together and before we attached it to the table we figured we'd give it a test run to make sure that the controller and all the motors are working in the way they're supposed to and after we did a quick test it everything was working so we went around and we bolted it to the table making sure it's good and square and aligned properly uh, to function appropriately and once we did that we were able to give it a real test of moving it all the way around it was really fun to see this thing <laughs> function this way uh, after you know just first time everything was working and really i haven't adjusted it ever since we uh, put this together after all these final adjustments here and i'm being completely honest i really did not touch i think i might have touched one of the wheels that i had to be tightened a little bit other than that this has been still holding up really well
And I think one of the reasons why is because the type of projects we've been doing, like I said, are sort of repetitive projects. It was really just like a V-carved type of uh, engraving. It wasn't like this one was, it was actually cutting out, but it was mostly like this type of V-carving. So it's not really putting a lot of pressure on the machine compared to if I was really cutting deep and doing those type of deep carvings. So uh, and that may be one of the reasons why. So here are some projects, again, that we've done over the years. We've done a lot of coasters and we've done a lot of the uh, coat hooks here, like with these boards here. And here's just showing that what we do is we use the mask uh, that we put on the wood if we wanted to paint or color the actual engraved areas. So we put that blue mask on and then we carve it and then we would just do a little spray paint of whatever color we want it to be. And then you just peel off that mask and you're left with the image here on the piece of wood. So it, We've made batches and batches and batches. Some of them like this one was a custom one, but most of them like these owls and the fireflies and the dragonflies and things like that. We've made probably, you know, hundreds and hundreds, <laughs> I think hundreds of those. But uh, yeah, I think that's one of the reasons why it's not very hard on the machine. It's just a very light engraving. So yeah, but still, you know, it does the job. And here's an example where we carved out some soap dishes. This was probably a heavier. This here as well as the flag, a little bit heavier on the machine, but still function just as well as when we were doing just the simple engraving with no issues whatsoever with, uh, with doing these 3D carvings. Now, I think it's just fitting that we end with the Canada flag, seeing that this is uh, CNC Labs and the Long Mill is a Canadian company. Uh, you know, and whether or not I said I'd give you a thumbs up or a thumbs down on this machine, it's definitely a thumbs up. And I would recommend this machine to anybody. Again, the newer one, probably even better than the one that we have, where I, I think the hardware that they use is much more robust. But yeah, it's definitely a great machine. I would recommend it to anyone. And they are coming out or starting to deliver, I believe, their newest one, their more industrial level type of CNC machine called the Altmill. So be sure to check that out. I'll leave a link down in the description below. And to be completely transparent, we are not paid sponsors for the company or anything like that. We just want to share the, our experience of, you know, we use a good machine uh, that's well built with no issues and at a reasonable price compared to a lot of other CNC machines out there. Uh, we just want to share that share that wisdom and that knowledge and, <laughs> and excitement. So I hope you uh, found this video to be exciting, uh, or at least at least entertaining. And uh, if you like it and you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe. Love to hear your comments, whether or not you own one or you're thinking about getting one. Tell me what you think. And we hope to see you here again at Dusty Workbench. Take care.